This is a new feature they've added. You cannot adjust the K factor outside of the specified range. Um, 177.5, 178.5. Um, this prevents people from increasing the meter to affect their scores. Um, however, it does take and mean that if your meter is outside of that, you're going to have to get it replaced. We'll be fine. Ours are at 177.7. It comes as a default at 177.8 now, uh, as opposed to the old 178. But this is a new change to the software. What we have here is the new Termlab software. Uh, got a lot of extra features here. We'll go ahead and get it reset and start. It's a little bit different. Got this hooked up to my computer, so. Notice it's uh, getting the peak frequency. Peak frequency right here. Real time frequency right here. Average SPL, peak SPL, the real time that we're playing. You here for. Uh, the selection here, switch to base race. To base race. Got a new feature here called practice mode. Base this is automatic on a timer. You hit it, it starts, the timer starts, it's going to count down and start all by itself. Uh, kind of cool feature, but the, the start on this is rather unusual. It automatically goes to standby and it's going to start the meter. Watch the way it starts. The timer goes active on set. This is a new feature they've added that drastically simplifies. Um, here we have setup for multi-monitor display. We have all of our monitors listed. As you can see, we have a blank screen. So we're going to go assign channel 1. Pops up all by itself. Channel 2 pops up all by itself. And we need a timer. Kick that over there and that pops up all by itself. Here's a new feature they've added. We have an auto arrange feature. This is what it does. Automatically lays everything out for you so it's relatively simple. That's going to drastically simplify things it shows. Here I've got it set up for the, uh, the competition format. As you can see the meter takes and goes into the standby with the timer set ready. Um, the start on this is going to be a lot different than what we're used to and as far as I'm concerned it flat out sucks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play some music with it so you can see how it's reading. Um, it's a lot different than it used to be. We still have the same uh, way to start it, same audio. We're in standby. Now it shows standby up here. Uh, timer's still showing 30 seconds instead of the dashes. So, watch the start on this. We can see real time, we can see peak, we can see average. Uh, I just went ahead and stopped it and restarted it again. Um, you can stop this one in the middle of a run and you don't get the timer error, so that is rather nice. Um, you won't run into that problem. We're going to go ahead and set it to see what the uh, red light start looks like. Notice it's at 113. The peak is at 115. Even on a red light start, you cannot achieve your uh, your peak number. It's just not going to happen. Uh, it automatically gives you one second of zero that you have to take and play against. Um, that's going to make larger classes rather difficult. Okay, here's something new for us. Uh, in the past, typically when we're on the blue screen, um, there is no way to take and tell if you've broken out or not, or if someone red lights. Um, that's been changed, as you're going to see here in a second. Go ahead and start it. And we're red. Um, this is still off my, my computer, so it's not super loud, but over 120, it will red light you on the start. Um, that's going to be nice. Okay, um, timer is definitely working a little different. Um, we'll go ahead and let you see how it's going to look for the start. We'll go ahead and put it in standby. Um, basically, you'll be able to see how fast you can start here. As soon as it goes ready, you can start playing, apparently. Ready? <laughs> 